This is WCVB-TV, Channel 5, Boston. From Fairway Sports World in Natick, our champions, Ed Zernike from Webster and John Zernike from Webster, take on Bob Bubba Whitcomb from Norwell, Massachusetts, and Craig Holbrook from East Bridgewater, Mac. on Candlepin Double. I'm Ed Harding, and welcome to Doubles, and thank you for letting us be a part of your afternoon. If you were with us last week, you know that the Morgans, who had been champions for three weeks in a row, fell to the Zernikes. Terrific match, 271 to 263, so you guys earned your spot. You really had to bowl and bowl well to get where they are today, which they always do. You know what our format is, you know what we'll do, and we're going to let them bowl in a minute, but one of the very faithful in our gallery handed something up to our statistician, Don Riley, and he handed it on to me that I wanted to share with you, a remarkable accomplishment in bowling. This is in the Beverly Times from March 23rd. Dan Adams goes to the Beverly Bowler Mat. Now, he has a 108 average. What do you suppose he rolls in that? A 231 string. Isn't that remarkable? 231. He not only broke the record of 225 set in 58, but he was close. He was within 10 pins of the world record in Candlepin Bowling. A remarkable string for Dan Adams from Lynn, a 231. One of you gentlemen have a 231? No. Yeah, we're wondering if you can do 231 and 2. Can you, can you do it? Okay, the stage is there. Guys, go to it. That's John Zerke. Gets us going. There's Bobby Whitcomb. Mixed up. Mixed up. Okay, Bobby, all over there. Nine and eight. Open us up. First of all, each man could take care of business right off the bat. Isn't that remarkable? 231. John Zernicke gets his. Bobby mishit the striking area, but even with the wood that was there, thought it might come back and get it. It didn't. Same ball, same place. Still left the pin standing. Second box, first string. These guys will take us through the first five boxes of this string. They'll hand it over to their partners. Flat fill. How do you do that? A one. I don't know if I've ever seen a one fill in that. Bubba has a spare leave. I'll tell you what, so does John Zernike, only because nothing fell. He's got it. I'll tell you what, a disappointing one to fill a mark in the first. Then he closes out with a mark. And Bubba comes out with a mark, too. We are warming up. Cumulative score at the end of two strings of bowling decides who our champion is today. John Zernike has an average of 120. He has a high single of 211 and a high triple of 454. This to fill. Much better. This to fill. Not as good. Four horsemen left in the ten. Three straight marks will pay the Zernikes $50 in bonus money. If he can get this, he's got three straight. Got it. Same deal holds true for Mr. Whitcomb and Mr. Holbrook. It won't happen in this string, though. I don't mean string in terms of 10 boxes. I mean string in terms of second, third, and fourth. Zernike's opening up a six-pin lead through boxes already scored. Of course, John Zernike opens up with Mark, Mark, Mark. This to Phil. Phil is eight. Pins in between. Could use them in help. Right on. Oh. Did he make it four in a row? A lot of action. He came, I'll bet, within a whisker of doing it, but he will not. He filled in the third box with eight, and he's increased his lead to 15 pins. The best each man can do in this box is a 10. 
John Zernicke gets his. Bobby Whitcomb gets his. Last box, first string for these two guys. Then they'll hand it off to their partners. And they'll take us through a 15-pin lead for the first four boxes, first string, candlepin doubles. John Zernicke on the left of your screen, and Bob Whitcomb has just gone out of the screen. A lot of wood up, a lot of wood down. Right on a head pin. Maybe too firm on a head pin. That's the shot that John Zernicke has in front of him. He's marked in three of the four boxes that he's bowled in today. And in the fourth, he posted a 10, so he has taken care of the pins today. Bob Whitcomb has an average of 118, a high single of 187, and a high triple of 459. He's got one pin left. First pin that John's left. Bobby Whitcomb gets his. Each man has bowled five boxes. We're in the first string in Candlepin doubles. We'll hand it off to our partners, Ed Zernicke and Craig Holbrook, who bowled for their first time today. But first, we'll do this. We'll see you in a minute on Candlepin doubles. The Zernikes have a 14-pin lead as we move to the final five boxes of the first string. This is Ed Zernike. Hey, Craig, come on now. Let's go first. And this is Craig Holbrook. Ed Zernike has an average of 122, a high single of 200, and a high triple of 465. This slight delay is Mr. Ralph Stewart. Goes down to inspect the fall. He has judged there. He's made his ruling, he's made his move, and he gets his hand. I'll tell you what, everybody loves Ruffy, eh, Ruffy? Craig Holbrook has an average of 128, a high single of 196, and a high triple of 472. Right in the gap. That's the shot that Ed Zernicke has. You see the ten is standing. You see the wood in front that is not settling. It appears to be settling away, though, so it will give him, excuse me, a quarter of attack, which he takes. Seven in the sixth box for Craig Holbrook and a ten in the sixth box for Ed Zernike and the Zernikes have a 17-pin lead. Seventh box, first string. Lead the spread eagle. Virtual mirrored images. Although there's a pin tucked behind the spread eagle that Craig Holbrook has. What a great job, I'll tell you what. There were seven pins standing and he got the six toughest. Couple of nines in the seventh box. We move to the eighth. Difference is still the same. 17 pin lead for the Zernikes. It is the cumulative score at the end of two strings of bowling that decides our champion. Eight, ten goes. Well, it certainly wasn't a knockout punch because it's at this point in the match, but he certainly is putting them on the mat. Will they all go? They're going to come back and get tapped, but they will not fall. So it'll be the third box in a row that Craig Holbrook will go without marking, although he's gotten progressively better, a 7, 9, and a 10. But remember, Eddie Zernicke dropped the hammer in the eighth box, so he's got a couple of bonus balls, a couple of chances to stretch what is already a 17-pin lead. 
Stand up and match of one for one, or two for one. Well, there you have it, Zernike in the eighth, Zernike in the ninth. Will it be the hat trick? Hold on, here we go. Holbrook has the better of the shots left to mark in the frame. And he gets it to mark in the 10th. And he'll get another ball with an opportunity to take care of cutting into that lead. Ed Zernike and John Zernike already had a cumulative number of 140 through their 10 boxes of bowling here in the first string. So they're already at 109, and they can add on to it with this, add on six more for a 115. So they have taken advantage of it a little bit, cut into it. But it's still a 25-pin lead for the Zernikes over Holbrook and Whitcomb as we move to the second string, a whole full string of bowling to go. So we'll be back to Candleton Doubles right after this. Twenty-five pin lead for the Zernikes as we move to the second string. Then John Zernike and Bob Whitcomb have joined us back up. Oh, right at the top, right at the top. Oh, how do you do? It's an interesting start. It's an interesting ball from John Zernike. You know, you wouldn't think the way it went down, the way it went in, that it would be able to do the damage needed, but it did. So he marks in the first string, and he gets a chance to pad on it with his a now 27-pin lead. Bobby Whitcomb has a spare lead. He could, he could pick that up. Leave the four horsemen right side. Fill the mark with six and increase the lead to 33 pins now. Got him. All right, all right. The pin cut right in front of the 10, but didn't touch it. it leaves it standing. Move to the third box, second string. And the first ball you see from Bobby Whitcomb, the next ball you see from him, will be to fill his mark in the second box. Hit it hard, hit it flat, and leave him low. The fill is four for Whitcomb. It's a nine in the third box for Bobby Whitcomb and oh, Come on, Bobby, hit the top. John Zernike goes over and gets them all but one. So he puts up a nine up in the third box as well. 28 pin lead. Zernike and Zernike over Whitcomb and Holbrook. Fourth box, second string. These guys will bowl through the fifth box and hand it over to their partners. go there's the seven and the ten go oh. I love to watch that one I love to watch them 
take a shot at what is a relatively impossible shot physically. In the fourth box, John Zernike marked, which will give him a chance to throw the bonus ball, which will be the first ball that he will throw in this frame after Bobby Whitcomb throws his. Here's the bonus ball. And the fill is eight. Firing a remarkable comeback. This is the final ball of this afternoon for here's the final ball for Bobby Whitcomb and here's the final ball in the afternoon from John Zernike put up an eight for Whitcomb put up a nine for Zernike hand it over to their partners a 38 pin lead we move to the sixth box second string the Zernikes are already lying 201. We do remind you that 275 does pay. Greg Holberg starts out real well. Ed Zernike. Right on. Ed Zernike draws the bead. Hits it off the heel, going for a very precise shot and didn't get what he wanted. The luxuries of having a 38-pin advantage. Chance to remind you the Big Brothers and Big Sisters Association of the Greater Attleboro Area is holding a bowl -a thon at the North Bowl Bowling Lanes on Sunday, April 26th. Bowl for kids' sake. Raises funds to support the Big Brothers and Big Sisters services for that area. To find out how you can help or participate, call 508 226-4588-508-226-4588. i tell you what, look at them all go one at a time. How many times in, in bowling have you seen the fill one? Today we have seen the fill of one twice. Seventh box, second string, and nine opposite a mark by the Zernikes. Pinfall for Craig is six on that one. The fill for Ed is ten. Nice pickup. Nice ball, nice pickup. Of course, it was in the first string that Ed Zernike dropped two in a row. Fill it with seven. Tell you what, one by one, he's tapping them. Suck it straight. Nice ball, nice pickup from Craig Holbrook, and a nice chance to go out with three straight marks and earn themselves some bonus money. It's two straight marks for the Zernikes again, although they have already earned some bonus money in the first string. They need 15, Don Riley tells me, they need 15 pins to hit the 275. So they've drawn a beat on it. in the tenth box, second and final string. We won't get the 275, an eight in the tenth box for the Whitcomb-Holbrook team, right in the gap. 
Betty was throwing the ball to bowling in the 10th box only for the chance to have the bonus of 275. Didn't get that, but he did get the match. So Ed and John Zernike successfully defend their championship, beating Craig Holbrook and Bobby Wickham by 45 pins. They will move on, but we'll be back right after this. You know, now that I've been successful, really, in my quest for three strikes, I had seen it, and it had just escaped this empty brain of mine. Jeff, would you pull out a little bit, just a little bit? One of these days, I'd like to stand at the end of a bowling match with bowlers who are my height. <laughs> now, since I can't go up, <laughs> we've got to get some guys who can come down. Well, I'll tell you what, they just came out of the shoot real fast, didn't they? You're right, they did. Three knocks in a row out of the gate. We just couldn't catch up. Tell me, Bobby, what is it like when you're standing over there on the... You're trying to match them, but bang, they're just dropping them. It's just tough, you know, they come out of the shoot so fast on us, and they're such good bowlers, and you fall behind them, it's kind of tough to catch up. Well, we thank you. 300 bucks for your thank afternoon. You thank you for making it a great show, guys. Thank well, thanks to him, he got off to a good start, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, he's my setup man. Yeah, he's your setup man. It makes it easy for you. You can go out there and roll the, the strikes, though. But yeah. you disappointed me. I wanted to see more no, threes there, no, you know? I, it was just a little tight on the head pin, but I, at least I hit the head pin. Well, that was terrific. You guys started out early, drop out that quick knockout punch, and, and you earn yourself 600 bucks. A nice afternoon's worth of work, huh? Yeah, well good you know they they just chop we got the uh, brakes yeah, yeah you know isn't that unusual sometimes you, you can hit it and it, if it does come out like that wham you're, you find yourself on the short end don't you yep you gotta take the brakes while they're coming <laughs> well right now the brakes have been with the zernikes for two weeks in a row they have won they will move on they'll be here next week i'll be here next week you guys will be here next week we hope you are too i'm ed harding for all of us here at candlepin doubles thanks a lot have a great day bye-bye everybody